All right, this is the Bowers and Wilkins formation wedge that I took apart. Um, this is the, uh, I guess you call just the uh, inside chassis of it, the uh, enclosure. Uh, this is the back part. Uh, we've got the grill sitting up over there in that box. Um, <clears throat> this is the back part of the heat sink. Um, these are the enclosures for the speakers and tweeters. Here's the bottom. Uh, here's the top little uh, instrument for a little uh, touch panel for uh, selecting different features. Um, here is the power supply um, and the amplifiers and all that stuff. So, uh, all the back is the uh, antennas on the back. It's got quite a bit going on in there. Um, and then the PSU is right here. fully open that up but what I found most interesting was uh, uh, I'll get to that in a second um, here's the uh, double dome tweeters they're actually pretty weighty and substantial pretty well made but what, what really kind of got my attention was these FST or whatever uh, allegedly from their 600 series these proprietary uh, drivers um, for the mid-range look at the size of the uh, magnet on the back. Look how tiny that is. I mean, it, and then look at this. This doesn't strike me as the quality uh, from the previous drivers on some of the Bowers and Wilkins Zeppelins I've taken apart. Anyways, it just, yeah, kind of, kind of shocked me there. Oh, and then even more interesting in certain ways is, here's the sub, look, look at that. <laughs> I mean, I don't know if that's for, you know, for, for to have longer throw or whatever, but I mean, that is one absolutely funny looking subwoofer. Anyways, that's all I got for you guys today. Um, yeah, bye-bye.